RCI roof rack. I think I'm probably one of the first people to have this thing. Um, I ordered it in the beginning of December, right when they started selling them. And they started making them in January. And uh, it just came yesterday, so. All right, so I'm assuming that these are the, obviously the long side rails. Go from front to rear on each side. And then this is gonna be the crossbars and the, the wind fairing. The rack kind of laid out. Um, the next thing to do is just get get uh, familiar with the hardware and also go to rciofroad.com. It'll redirect you, but it's actually rcimetalworks.com. You should know if you bought it from them. And then go to Fitch and Forerunner. And then I think you go to. There's the rack, eight ninety five. You go to uh, menu. Oh, here we go. Install guides. So you don't need to go to any of that other stuff. Just go straight to the menu. Scroll to the bottom. Right there. Install guides. And go to the Toyota Forerunner. have the roof rack on here yet it looks like the roof rack okay I gotta find it I don't see it on their website so so it says that their their forerunner roof rack scroll down to the bottom of the description that the install guide is coming soon <laughs> so that's uh, but I'll figure it out I guess so this is all the hardware. I just, you know, you got eight of these bolts. These are gonna go into the stock uh, roof rack rail holes that where the old bolts were. And uh, I'm gonna use some Loctite on them too, just cause that's what it's recommended when I was using doing the stock rails, or there was Loctite on them already. But then you have these little fancy little washers with like, they're kind of beveled and there's rubber on one side. There's eight of those, so I'm just gonna get those prepped. And after that, all of these are gonna be for the rails, the cross rails. Pretty basic, self-explanatory, so it's kinda nice. Um, the only thing I'll have to figure out once I get all this stuff put together is where these come into play, but for now I'm gonna put all the crossbars on. I'm assuming it just, yeah, this goes something like that. <laughs> Pretty easy. So these ones are going to be for when you're doing when you attach the the rear part of the rack and then the front wind fairing part to the rails, the or to the yeah the, the side rails to get the crossbars on. They they're threaded. So it just takes two, two of these Allen head screw or Allen screws per on each side. So four for each crossbar. So they just go right through with the washer and that should be it. I'm glad I noticed this, but on one side of all of these rails is like a entry point to like, I think for like adding equipment so i'm gonna go out on a limb here and just say that that's supposed to be on the top side i sure hope so because i don't have an install video so i think i'm gonna install it with them on the top side Um, I'm on the last crossbar, cross rail, cross bar, side rails, cross bars. 
Um, and our CI yeah, shorted me one washer, unless I misplaced it. But feels like I got shorted a wash. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not it. That's a dime. So, ain't that bad. I'll find a black washer. And it'll be good, but sometimes when you pay $900 for a product, you want everything. So, RCI, send me a proper black washer, please. Thank you. So, I actually hoard a lot of hardware in my mess of garage, and I found a perfectly fitting black washer boom just going by without any directions but you have for this front there's no holes on the front front so they have this sticky thick pad rubberized pad that you want to stick to the bottom side of this and the bottom side of the other front one these other ones you're going to have these big rubber spacers that are going to go underneath it underneath the rack and then into the roof and then you're going to tighten it down onto these rubber spacers so and then the, this goes along the front of the wind fairing to prevent you know scratching the roof and all that so i will show you that one's finished for now i'm just going to slap these bad boys on all right and i think the best thing to do with these is to just put them up on there in place you can see that the holes are kind of closer to one side than the other and when you go to your roof you'll see that kind of is why the actual roof and they are to the siding so you just want to there's one side that's a little rougher than the other i just put the face with the side up and just line up the holes screwing into I'm also gonna put a thread lock on those on those bolts that go down into it so. and then when you're putting the rubber trim on this you gotta I would just stand behind it and use your hands to pull it on you can almost hear it like click or pop into place so it's on there nice and snug I'm not finished yet but a second pair of hands to help me lift this bad boy into place and I'll bolt it down be all done.